Hey guys, I have an Intel Nook here. So here's the Nook here. This is the Celeron one. It goes for about $200 Aussie dollars. Now, before I go any further, this is the one with the kit. So you have to provide your own RAM and SSD and OS or operating system. There are a range of different Nooks, including the Celeron, which I have here. There's a Pentium, there's an i5, and an i3 version of the Nooks. Now let's have a look at the Nook at a closer view. So on the front we have a USB 3.0 port and also an infrared receiver, which will work with most universal remotes. On the right side we have some vents and a Kensington key lock. And on the left side we just have some vents. Now on the back we have a power in plug which uses 12 volts, a bit more on that later, we have a HDMI 1.4 port, an Ethernet port, two USB 2s, and finally we have a headphone and microphone input and output on the back. On top we have a hard drive indicator and also a power button which lights up white when active. So here's a spec for the Nook. We have a Celeron clocked at 2.1 GHz. We also have 8 GB of DDR3 RAM. There is a 128GB SSD in here and there's also a wireless card installed. Now let's get on to some benchmarks. We will be comparing against my Surface Pro 3. For Cinebench, the Nook got a score of 73 CB and the Surface got a score of 186 CB. Now I tried the OpenGL test, but it did not work on the Nook. For Geekbench, we got a single core score of 921 and a multi-core score of 1,593. For the Surface, we got a single core score of 2,235 and a multi-core score of 5,057. Now why would you want one of these PCs? Well, you could do it for web surfing, watching videos on the internet, and a home theater PC. Well, you might be thinking, well, why can't I do it on my PC? Well, you can. It's just that your computer will draw about 300 watts if you're using a desktop or more. Well, this Nook uses 36 watts. That is nothing, or barely anything. Therefore, since it uses such little power, it can use an external power brick, where normal desktop computers have to use a separate power supply inside the computer, which is a lot bigger. Bigger than the Nook to be exact. Also, another reason why I'd want this PC is because of its size. It is 11.6 centimeters by 11.2 centimeters. Absolutely tiny. It's so small. You can fit on the back of these monitors here with an included VESA mount, which supports VESA 100 and VESA 75. Also, did I mention how quiet it is? Subscribe if you want to see me build a computer in the near future. I'm working on a part list for that now, probably about a week or two and you'll see a new video on it. Be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on that. Also like this video if you liked it and share this video as well. It'd be much appreciated. And I'll see you next time.